Fellow Scott Paper Towel executives, you're in for a real treat. I should hope so. Because of this meeting, I only got in nine holes today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about golf. <laughs> Today, I want to show you the future of Scott Paper Towels. The boys in production whipped up a new embossing roller with flock and weave technology. Go ahead, feel the results. Oh my god. So soft. It's like getting finger banged by an angel. It's thicker, softer, more absorbent, and best news of all, it's made with a grade C post-consumer paper, which means it costs less than a third to produce what it does for our current paper towels. That is the best news. It's the best news I've heard all day, and I just found out the age of consent in Indiana is 16. <laughs> that is the most inappropriate thing having to do with a child I have ever heard. Eh, I've heard worse. Uh, I, I just want you to know that I am so sorry for your loss. Aiden was a remarkable boy. Thank you. Oh, uh, by the way, we're gonna need you to step down as the president of the Parent Teacher Association because technically you're not a parent anymore. <laughs> Regardless, we'll market this as a premium product, uh, Scott Velvet or some such thing. We'll charge twice what we do for our normal paper towels. It'll be a nice brand extension. Good work, Bernhold. Meeting adjourned? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't think you heard me. This new paper towel is superior in every way. I, I don't want to just create a brand extension. Oh, what do you want to do? Does it involve butt stuff? No! <laughs> if it involves butt stuff, I'm totally in. No, it does, <laughs> does not involve butt stuff. I want to make this the new Scott paper towel. But you want to replace the Scott paper towel? Are you out of your goddamn mind? No, what I am is tired of coming in fourth place when it comes to paper towel sales. Fourth place. There's no medal for fourth place. I'm tired of being the Steve Prefontaine in the 5,000 meters at the 1972 Summer Olympic Games of paper towel sales. <laughs> did, did he come in fourth in that event? Yeah, yeah, he totally did. Oh. <laughs> and fourth place is where we are right now. We're behind Bounty, Brawny, Sparkle. We're behind fucking Sparkle, people! Uh, and they have a product that sounds like it was named by Richard Simmons' ghost. Richard Simmons isn't dead. My point stands. <laughs> We're in fourth place now. But I think if we start to sell a phenomenally superior product mm -hmm. for less than all of our competitors, we can move way up in those rankings. You think we can beat Sparkle? What about Brawny? You know what I have to say to Brawny? No. Fuck Brawny! Fuck Brawny up their lumber sexual assholes! Oh my god, I'm so hard right now. <laughs> and I don't think we need to stop at Brawny. I think we could outsell Bounty. Huh. <laughs> you think we could be number one? It would be like the time I got my first period in front of Mrs. Walshman's entire seventh grade class. Never even happened! Let's do this! I'm in the exact same place, except for that period thing. Let's do it! That is enough! What is the matter with all of you? Yes, sure. Every man, woman, and child on this planet would like to create a paper towel that outsells Bounty. They would? But Bounty is number one for a reason. They don't mess around. You're forgetting one very important thing. Escalation. Escalation? If we do what you're proposing, do you think Bounty's just gonna sit back and take it? Do you remember what happened a few years ago when Viva made their run at the king and started selling 20% larger paper towel rolls for the same low, low price? <laughs> Out of nowhere, Bounty released select a size paper towels. Select a size paper towels? Nobody had ever even thought of that shit before. <laughs> Who would have thought that what America wanted was a smaller sheet of paper towel? But it was a goddamn bloodbath. <laughs> Before it was all over, Viva's VP of Sales and Marketing hung himself in a hotel closet like he was David fucking Carradine. <laughs> I'm still very hard right now. <laughs> so what are you saying? The Bounty's just sitting on some new innovation that could destroy our paper towel business if we get out of line? I'm saying the Bounty is sitting on something that could destroy our paper towel business and our toilet paper business and our flushable wipes business. You know, a couple years back, I went to a conference and got really drunk with a guy from Bounty, and he said that they'd invented the five-ply toilet paper. Fuck you, that's impossible! <laughs> Is it? 
It's impossible to us, but to them, I don't know. How do you shoot the devil in the back? What if you miss? There goes my erection. All in favor of creating a premium brand extension line for Bernholtz paper towels and keeping our current Scott paper towels as is. Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Meeting adjourned. And next time you come up with a bright idea, remember, when you play the game of paper towels, you win or die. There is no middle ground. <laughs> nice try, kid. Better luck next time. So, has anybody tried fucking one of these things yet? <laughs> Ah, crap.